Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 23451. This is a big build for Microsoft to build with a lot of new features. And in this video, as always, we're going to talk about everything, every new feature, every fix and every improvement that we can encounter in this latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Based channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, we have big news in the file explorer. The new details pane is official in the file explorer. So Microsoft is introducing the modernized details pane in file explorer, and it also has a keyboard shortcut, which is Alt plus Shift plus P. And this is of course designed to help you easily access related content, stay up to date with file activity, and collaborate without even opening a file. And what's interesting about it is that Microsoft also added a button in the right side, show or hide the details pane. If you click on it, the details pane will be opened up. And of course, when a user selects a file in File Explorer and enables the pane, a modern pane will display contextual information about the file, including file thumbnail, share status and button, file activity, related files and emails and other information. Of course, this is slowly rolling out in the file explorer, but of course, if you're interested, I'm gonna make a video in the coming days in which I'll show you how to enable this. I think this is pretty nice and this is a big step from Microsoft to the new file explorer that could be released maybe later this year. Also, Microsoft is improving the Windows Spotlight. So starting with this build, Microsoft is trying out two different treatments for how Windows Spotlight looks. We've talked about this before before, but I think this is pretty interesting and of course with the Windows Spotlight can be enabled from the personalized section of Windows 11 and selecting the Windows Spotlight theme and of course you're gonna have some screenshots of how those new UIs look on Windows 11. Also the narrator enhances interaction with Excel. The narrator now provides a more efficient reading experience while working in Microsoft Excel. If you want to learn more about this of course you can check out the article below in the video description. In this build we also have have a new third-party widget which is the Facebook widget. For that you need to download the Facebook app from the Microsoft Store, make sure you install it, click on get and it should be installed in a few seconds. And after the app is installed, make sure to go into the widget section, go into the plus button and make sure to add the Facebook widget. You can pin it and you're gonna have it somewhere around here. Of course you're gonna need to connect with your account and set up things but I'm not gonna do that in this video. Regarding the start menu, Microsoft is expanding the rollout of the notification badging for Microsoft Microsoft accounts on the start menu and also by right clicking on the start menu and then clicking on start settings you have more info related to the recommended section of the start menu show websites from your browsing history or show recommendations for tips shortcuts new apps and more Microsoft is also working on improving that and I think this is pretty nice regarding the gallery section in file explorer for windows insiders who have gallery in file explorer Microsoft updated the icon for the gallery section and I think this icon looks pretty nice if you haven't seen before we also have the new widgets picker which is beginning to roll out inside windows Windows, and this is a nice visual change with the widgets name in the left side and a preview for that certain widget in the right side. Also Microsoft is beginning to roll out animated icons or widgets on the taskbar. We've talked about this before, I showed you how to enable this and this is pretty interesting. Also they expanded the variants of icons that have animations and I think that is pretty nice. Regarding live captions, languages support has been expanded to include Danish, English, Ireland, French, Canada, Korean, Portuguese from Portugal. And another new interesting feature is that Microsoft finally worked on enabling the end task button by right clicking on an app on the taskbar under settings, privacy and security, and then for developers. We're gonna have the option somewhere around here. It's currently not working for me, but of course I can make a different video in which I show you how to completely set up this manually, but basically it will show you a new button, a new end task button on any app from your taskbar, and you will be able to quickly end a certain application without having to open up the task manager. I think this is also really useful. And also a last feature that we're going to talk about is a feature that was discovered by Phantom Ocean 3, which is that the build 23451 reintroduces better file explorer tab dragging, including the ability to drag tabs between windows and drag a tab out to open it in its own window. So let's try this out. Let's drag a tab into another window. As you can see, you can do that pretty easily. And also if I drag a tab separately, it will open it up 
in another window i can then drag it into that old window i think this is working pretty nice and it is pretty reliable at the moment this is it for the new features and improvements i think this is a pretty interesting build but now let's talk about a few fixes for example regarding the taskbar and system tray microsoft fixed an explorer.exe crash impacting taskbar reliability they also fixed an issue that was causing quick settings and its project options to sometimes not respond when using alt plus f4 to close them regarding the start menu they fixed an issue that was causing the recommended section in start to be blank for the first time it was opened regarding the file explorer microsoft fixed an underlying issue believed to be the cause of explorer Explorer.exe crashing when opening the context menu in the previous slide for some insiders and also if you use an Arabic or Hebrew display language the tabs should be displaying correctly now. Regarding the gallery section they fix an issue where the scroll bar for the gallery was displaying on the wrong side for insiders with an Arabic or Hebrew display language and also if you have the item checkboxes setting enabled the gallery will now show checkboxes on images. Regarding the search box Microsoft did some work to fix an underlying issue which could cause search to get stuck and not open. When this happened, you might also see a delay opening the start menu. Regarding input, they fixed an issue where the Pi 9 e's insert text button wasn't displaying correctly in some cases, and they also fixed an underlying crash impacting the ability to launch the touch keyboard pin entry on the login screen. Regarding notifications, they fixed another 2FA code pattern which wasn't being recognized. Regarding live captions, they fixed an issue where caption characters shown in the same Second line of the default hide window weren't getting clipped on top. Also, features have been added to enhance speech recognition language files to improve performance and provide out of language filtering meant to limit the incorrect captions for speech not in the caption language. And the last fix for this build, regarding accessibility, the fiction issue where using the down key while navigating by landmark with narrator in edge wasn't jumping to the first line of the landmark correctly. So basically this is it for this build. If you want to check out the known issues for this build, go ahead and check the article below in the video description. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.